actually going to go around and uh, collect on my vending machines that I set up a few weeks ago. Uh, we've had these machines placed for three weeks now, um, give or take. The first one was a tire shop, and I just went there and collected on that. Sorry, I can't really film when I go in there because it's kind of tough. Just the waiting rooms are small, and it's it's already awkward standing there while people are trying to do business and you're filling candy. But uh, so three weeks at the tire shop, and I got got that seventy five quarters. So means that people use that thing 75 times it's pretty good ends up being uh, 18 18 bucks it's a change 1875 um, so yeah I don't know I don't know if I'm happy with that I mean just kind of hoping to uh, maybe crack the $40 number um, after three weeks that's probably one that we could leave for an entire month without servicing so I got two more to check on and we'll see how those ones go. I'll uh, I'll try to record a little bit while I'm in there uh, if I can. But if not, I'll uh, I'll show you guys the total when I get out. I could tell, I could tell right away that wasn't gonna be a good place. 18 quarters, <sighs> not even five bucks. Oh man, yeah, we'll see. So this place, along with another place, the, the one I'm heading to right now, um, we actually purchased the locations with the vending machine. So we bought the vending machines and the guy sold us the spot too. At first he was just selling the, the machine, but we uh, we asked him how much he would want for the location. So we bought the location. And at this rate, it's gonna take four months just to pay for the, the location. Oh yeah, and, and that one I put the uh, the big machine, the eight head machine there. And I, I think that was a mistake. So we have another three head machine. We might just swap it out with the three head. Um, save that bigger one for some place that's a little busier. Um, the first place, the tire shop that I, I went to, uh, we got that one on our own. Um, and like I said, these other two we've we purchased. So hopefully this other one doesn't suck. But this other one's just a, a two head machine. So we'll see. All right. Realtor's office. Last stop, the realtor's office. I'm finding out that you don't purchase locations from people that are in the vending machine business because why would they sell a location? Doesn't make any sense. And I thought about that when I was buying them. It doesn't make any sense why he would sell locations. You know, unless he was changing his route or something like that, but um, yeah, I'm seeing why four quarters at this place four of them no nope. no nope. did not forget a number there um i mean four as in one single dollar bill that's it three weeks that machine was used four times maybe it's the candy but who doesn't like mike and ike's who doesn't like Reese's Pieces? Just terrible locations, I think. So grand total ended up being like 23 bucks. I'll put the exact number here on the screen, but it's like 23 bucks. Grand total, three weeks. So, uh, word of advice, just based off what I've seen, uh, don't buy locations from vending machine people. 
because they're crap locations. Um, yeah, find your own spots. It's hard. I mean, we've we've definitely stopped. We've stopped at probably 10, maybe a little bit more different places. I'm um, asking them. The mechanic shop ones seem like they, they go well because it's always uh, hardworking people that want a quick snack, you know. People that are sitting at the desk, they really don't get hungry. So, <laughs> oh well. Hopefully, better luck next time. I think we're actually going to end up pulling the machines out of those two places and uh, going somewhere else. So, that's it. Big money. Big money in the vending machines.